Hey, how's it going? My name is Coney, and I'm probably like a top five fall guy. Top ten at the absolute least. It's hard to say, because there isn't a leaderboard, but if there was one, I'd probably be near the top. All I do in Fall Guys is win. I have about 8 or 9 hours in the beta, and 9, 10, 11, maybe 12 hours in the main game, and I've racked up uh, plenty of crowns. Lots and lots of crowns. And I know what you're thinking. Why, Coney? Why do you take time out of your busy schedule of winning in Fall Guys to come down and speak to the groundlings like this? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I get bored. I get bored grabbing the crown over and over and having absolutely no competition. And every time that I see some absolute moron fall into the abyss or careen into drowning pink slime, I think, how do I make this more fun for me? And that's why I'm here to give back to you. If you clicked on this link, you're probably having a hard time winning in Fall Guys. You know what? You're not alone. I certainly can't empathize, but look at the thousands upon thousands of people who have clicked this video because they were in the same spot you were. Well, by the end of it, you're going to be able to ace those people and grab the crown every single time. What I'm going to do is go over every single game and give my tips and tricks on how to win it. The best way to do this is probably alphabetically, so if you go to the description, you'll find a bunch of time codes for every game, and I'll give you some helpful tips and hints so you can win, except for Hoarders, because that game is an abomination, and if you ever win, you just got lucky. But everything else I should be able to help. So without further ado, let's get started. Black Party! Just try to hold the center of the stage so that you have a lot of time to react to wherever the hole's gonna be. The problem is when you get mixed up with a bunch of people, you might fall down. The only real risk on this stage is getting your foot caught in the little slider that's at the bottom. If you do that, just mash like crazy and you should be able to get up. Not always, though. Sometimes you'll run into really handsy dudes. Try to stay away from these guys as much as possible. They're agents of chaos and they don't care about you or your family. Dizzy Heights! I don't really know what to tell you, man. Just get to the end. When you're going on the plates that spin around, just go the direction that they're spinning. Don't dive. Dive is a meme, and you're gonna run into that over and over. Just do a normal jump. You'll be okay. You don't need the distance. The only tricky part of the stage is near the end, there is a jump in the little lip that leads into the boulders coming down on the three big plates. Just don't forget to jump. You'll be top 45, and if you're not, maybe you should just learn how to hold a controller. DoorDash. Uh, there's not much strategy to this one. Just guess doors if you're in the front. If you're not in the front and you're in the back, try to dive over the group as much as you can so you can find a way through. This one's kind of difficult because it is totally random. Sometimes you'll be on the right side of the stage and the only door is open around the left. Just try to do your best here. It's not really good to be in the front or the back. Just try to be in the middle. This is one of the few games where diving is really good because if you can push yourself into the chaos that happens within the tiny doors, you can usually find your way out the other side. I have noticed for some reason, sometimes the two doors on the left will be open when all the other ones are closed. I don't know what that is. That's why it's important to try to stay in the middle as much as possible so you can get to any door quickly. Egg Scramble! Honestly, the best meta for this one is probably just getting a gold egg in your nest and not letting it go. You could just play defense by blocking off the little jumps and holding people so the gold egg doesn't leave. Because you don't have to be the number one team, you just can't be the bottom team. And as long as you have one golden egg, it's probably likely that one of the teams does not. So as long as the rest of your team plays well, you should be okay. Just get the golden egg in your nest and then play defense. It's not hard. Fall Mountain. This, in my opinion, is actually the worst of the final stages because one person can just get very lucky. The boulders come down or the hammers line up perfectly with their ascent and they just get a free line all the way. If you can execute, you can be that guy. But sometimes you get unlucky, so here's some stuff. If you see a boulder coming down during one of the spinny things, try to get the boost off that. You can actually ride the wave and get pushed up a little bit further. Works with the hammers too, but it's a lot riskier. Try to time your ascent up the final hill with the crown going up or down. It's kind of difficult to do, but once you play this map enough, you can kind of get a sense for it. Also, for the love of God, do not dive and grab. You can't dive and grab, you will lose because of it. Just grab is fine. Jump and grab. But yeah, generally, this is the most random of all the final stages. You obviously still have to get through the whole course unscathed, but it's very easy for somebody to just have a clear route. Fall Ball! It's just Rocket League. Have you ever played Rocket League? I recommend that you do. It's very fun. Do not jump and dive. This is what everybody does. Either jump or dive. Jumping gets you a lot of vertical hit on the ball. Diving gets you a lot of horizontal hit. Clear the ball if it ever gets next to your goal. For some reason, they let this game happen a lot with uneven teams. If your team has five and the other team has six, you are probably going to lose, which is awful, but there's no real way to fix it. That's just in the game. Uneven teams on this game is a nightmare, but it's not that bad. Just jump into the ball to get as much distance as you can from it. 
you only really want to jump and dive if you want to go for, like, a save or a block, because it doesn't give that much, like, push on the ball. And then after a goal is scored, just go for the header for the next point. Sometimes you can get a free point just by being there when nobody else is. I think the timing is random on the drop on the mid ball, so you can't just time it and get a free goal every time. And you can't push the camera up to see when it's falling, so just try to get good at that, get a good sense. Sometimes you'll get a free goal, and sometimes a football will come down and ruin your day. Fruit shoot! This one's actually not that hard. You just pick a side and don't get hit by fruit. I can't really tell you anything other than that. Uh, do not go up the middle because you're a fool. There's no reason to do that. Just hold left or right. Use the little bouncy things to give you cover, and you'll be fine. Gate crash. This one is 90% timing. Just, if one is going up and you're the right distance away, just run into it because it'll come down at the right time. You get a sense of this as you keep going. There's one point where the left and the... It splits into two sides, and the left and rightmost doors take forever to come down. Just go up the two middle ones. Other than that, this one's pretty simple. Just do your best to jump over the stuff. The part at the end is a big jump. There is RNG. There are times where you literally just cannot make that jump, but you'll get good at timing it. Just try it a few times. Hexagon is the best game in Fall Guys. I don't care what anybody says. This is the most realized and it's my favorite game. Anyway, best way to play this one depends on how many people there are. Basically, you want to stay on the top level as much as possible, obviously. Don't just run along the outside. Carve out a little spot for yourself in sort of your own little corner. You don't want to be near anybody else if you can help it. And if you are, try to cut off their options. This is probably the most complex game in the game, which is why people like it so much. There are a lot of different layers to it. So every time you can learn something from it, just keep trying to practice. There are two ways to play it. You can either play fast and just run everywhere trying to get rid of the tiles. Or you can slow jump, which is just very lightly jumping from one thing to another. You can do a jumping dive on some platforms if they're close enough, but you'll have to sort of get a sense of that over time to see if you can make it. And then you just have to mass jump so you get up faster so you can jump to the next thing. It is possible to chain dives, but it's kind of difficult and sometimes it doesn't work. But overall, what you want to do is try to waste as much time on the top layer as you can. If there's nobody on your layer, just jump slowly from piece to piece until you get knocked down. If you do somehow get knocked off early, just try to go crazy on the layer below you. What you want to do is just carve out as much of the middle as you can so that if somebody falls from the layer above you, they fall multiple times, so they just keep going down. It's actually super common to see somebody that's like three layers up just plummet to their doom because they couldn't land on anything else. Basically, you want to take as much time as you can do the slow jump, try to land on a platform below you, always have an escape route. This is the most complicated game, so you're probably going to lose it a lot, but once you get the hang of it, it's second nature. It's great. This is the best game in the game, no question. Hit Parade. This one's actually kind of funny because there are a lot of different ways to win. You honestly don't need to get the logs right at the start of this. You can just jump down and you'll be pretty much just as fast as anybody that's like crossing across the logs. So then when you get to the push spinny things, go the way that everybody else is going. You do not want to fight against people on this because they're going to push into you. Just go with the flow on that. When you get to the door, it will open in the middle, but it actually also opens on the side, which for some reason nobody knows. It's a very small open. Opening, but if you go that way, you can get a big head start. The number one thing on this stage is do not get hit by these balls. They're very easy to avoid. Just if you do, you're going to lose. You're probably out. You're not going to qualify. So just watch the balls and then climb up the slime. It's not that hard. Just try to avoid bumping as much as you can. And boom, take your qualification. Hoarder sucks. I hate this mode. I never played it in the beta. And then I played it like eight times on release. I do not. This game sucks. It's too much chaos. I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. Try your best. If you really want help, I guess just go to the fall ball tips. You don't want to jump and dive because it doesn't give you much. Honestly, just jumping or diving does way more. But this one is just too random. There's too many people. Just cross your fingers, man. Oopsie daisy! Try to find out where your team is not. There have been times where I've been on one side and the entire... The rest of my team is on the other side. Just try to do that, cover as much space as possible. If you see your teammate running in an area, just don't go there. Just assume he's going to get it. Don't waste time. Sometimes you want to climb the mountains uh, preemptively so you can jump on the hoops if they show up there. Don't waste too much time doing this because sometimes they won't work. 
you can jump from mountain to mountain on the sides, but in the center, you can't go from conveyor belt to conveyor belt. Obviously, the gold rings come down. Those are worth five points. Get those when you can. Uh, just watch your dives, because sometimes you dive with forward momentum that you might not expect. It's a little tough. This one is pretty random, but again, you don't need to win. You just need to not lose. So just try to, if you see a team that's close, like if your red team and yellow team is about to catch up, just grab members of the yellow team. Stop them from jumping. I know I tell you not to grab a lot, but in this case, you kind of got to be a jerk. Jinx. There are a couple different strategies on this one. Maybe you want to get infected instantly so you can infect other members of the enemy team. This is just kind of a keep away game, the same way as the tail tag or royal fumble, things like that. Just try to stay away from as many infected people as possible. Do not stand to uninfected members of the enemy team, because if your team infects them, they can just jinx you right then. So, this one is pretty self-explanatory, just work on your juke skills. The problem is that it's not like a smaller game, there's like a ton of people in this, and one team out of two is gonna get dropped, so this one can be brutal. Just try your best. Jump Club! This one's great. It's very self-explanatory, just jump when the thing comes. A lot of people will run with the beam, the small green one. I actually think you should run into it. You should run against it because you do have to jump more, but it's way easier to clear. You don't have people crowding around you. You can run on the outside. It's way easier that way. It's much easier to time too. The only issue is sometimes you can have the red bar obscure the green bar if it's bad timing, in which case, you just figure it out. Back up a little bit. This one's actually pretty simple. It's just an execution test. Just try to run into the beam rather than away from it. I think this is the best thing to do, and you should be okay. Perfect match! I don't know what... Remember. Do a good job of remembering. Sing a little song in your head. Watermelon, banana, apple, or... I don't know. This one's pretty simple. You can maybe trick people if they're very stupid into not knowing where it is, but just, I don't know, man. Remember, I don't know what to tell you. Rock and roll. Don't play defense. People will try to play defense on you. They are foolish. Defense is not good here. Just push the ball as hard as you can. Maybe one person from each team can play defense, but I've seen teams lose just because they try to stop the other balls. It's ridiculous. Don't worry about it. Just push yours as hard as possible. Do not dive into it. I hate it when people do this. Just push the ball. Hold up on the control stick. That's all you have to do. Don't try to get fancy. Just push the ball. Don't try to push the other guy's ball. Just work on, you know, work on your own thing. Bro, just chase a crown. Don't worry about what other people are doing. You gotta get the win. Roll out is the most anxiety-inducing game that I, I don't lose at. I don't... This one's actually pretty easy, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but God, is it stressful. Very nerve-wracking. Here's what you do. You're very quickly going to find agents of chaos in this game that are trying to grab you. Just very touchy fellas. Don't go close to them. Run to the other side of the stage if you must. Be as free from human influence as you can. All you really want to do is go to one of the edges and shift from the last roller to the second to last roller. Just go back and forth. There will always be a spot for you. Stay away from as many people as you can because people will bump into you or grab you if they're just a total sociopath. And just try to do the best you can. Do not stay on the outsides. It's not worth it. Try to stay in the center. Don't get dizzy with the camera. Try to anticipate when things are coming. It's not too bad. Just try to stay away from people for the love of God. It's This is really just a personality test more than anything. Just do your own thing. Royal Fumble. I actually love this game. I hated it when I first played it, just like I'm sure most people do. But once you get good at it, it's very satisfying. You cannot catch the guy with the tail unless you coordinate. It's very easy to just run away if you have the tail. If the enemy team, or I guess everybody else in the game, doesn't close off your options. Because there are so many options at any given time. If you have the tail, look all around you. You want to jump off of stuff. Use the spinner in the mid. That's your best friend because you move super fast. You also want to go under. Just jump off platforms randomly if people expect you to do the full jump and make connections. It's very difficult to give tips on this one because it's pretty basic. But you'll get good at avoiding people and just staying away. Just watch your routes. 
don't jump from too high, especially not on a slant, because if you jump on a slant, you're going to break your ankles and probably get the tail stolen. Also, sometimes people will steal your tail from a mile away, and those people with bad connections are on Wi-Fi, and those aren't real people. So try to stay away from those guys, because they're cheaters. Other than that, this one is difficult to give tips for because it's just like an inherent thing you have to keep trying at. Just keep trying to stay away from people, learn your routes, use the center spinner as much as possible because you move mad fast on it, and cut off people. That's the big thing. If somebody with the tail is running, don't just run behind them. Try to corner them and box them up. Triangulate their position and then discombobulate. Seesaw! This one's kind of random. The best thing to do on this map is just win. If you're in front, nobody can screw with you, nobody can mess with the seesaws, you don't have to worry or wait on anything else, just win. Just get an early lead and push out ahead. Sometimes, you get stuck waiting for the platform to fall, like around the middle, where one side you can't get on because the other side is all the way pushed down. If you run into that, immediately turn around and go to the other side. It's not going to slow down, just cut your losses. If you wait for there for it to come back, you might lose. Other than that, this one is kind of difficult because it's so random and there are so many variables. The best way to make sure you win is just be in front as much as you can, uh, which is a lot of that is just where you start, your starting position. Try to run in the middle of the seesaw if you are alone so you're not tipping it to one side or the other, and then you can jump pretty easily. Slime climb. Don't rush it. You don't have to. Try to stay away from people. If you can get an early lead, take it as much as you can. Don't fall for the meme jump on the bouncy thing at the start. It's going to waste your time. You might fall down, and you might lose. Don't worry about it. Go the long way. Do your due diligence. People are going to fall off anyway. And then just keep climbing. There are a few spots on this level where you can get a slight lead. Like, if you make the jump onto the pushy pillars, you can do that before you go all the way around. I would not recommend it, though, because if you fall down, the slime is going to get closer. I think a lot of people try to finish this as fast as possible. You really don't have to. You can take your time, just make sure the slime doesn't catch up to you. This is really a mix of a bunch of different modes, so whatever you're not good at, work on that and try to get better at it. Other than that, just don't fall for trying to finish this quickly. You don't have to. You can be as slow as you want as long as you're outpacing the slime. Team Tail Tag! This one's pretty easy. You just chase people who have tails. A lot of people will run in the opposite direction of the conveyor belt, which is foolish. It's very easy to grab them. A lot of people will dive for your tail, and you can't dive and grab. I don't think I've ever seen that, and I've lost games because of it. So don't try to do that. Just try to run around, like I said in the other one, in Royal Fumble. Just try to find your routes, find ways to juke people. You can stand inside the hammers and try to dare people to try to get in there. I wouldn't recommend doing it for too long. Just wait for them to get close and then run so they can either stand in the hammer themselves or get hit by it. It's not too hard. Don't jump from too high because you will break your ankles. Just fall off. You can just walk off instead of actually jumping. Uh, always keep a, an eye on who has the most and the least tails so you know which tails to go for at the top of the screen. And if people on your, your team grab your tail from you, even though they're on the same team as you, you've already lost. I'm sorry that you got the 10-year-old's bad luck. Tiptoe! Holy God! Uh, try to find a path early. Just run onto the platform and hope you found it. Um, you can kind of get a sense for when it's going to turn or when it's going to go straight of over time, but you got to play this to really develop that sixth sense. A lot of it is random. Remember that it usually snakes around so you can jump over a gap, so you can go from one gold space to another gold space just jumping over it, which is good. Other than that, uh, you can jump to the exit with your and, and reach with your little fingers, I think, two spaces away. So don't worry about the last space. You don't need it. Just jump. Try not to bump into anybody. You want to stand in the center of the gold space so you can probably push people off. Don't go yourself unless you are at the start. If you're near the end, it's a very bad idea because somebody's going to find the route, right route and then you're going to be gone. But you can experiment in the early and the mid parts of the stage. Just don't go crazy at the end. Whirly gig, just jump over the beams, man. It's not hard. Just jump over the beams. Don't dive. Never dive. Diving is, is a joke. Uh, 
if you could time it, you could jump up the conveyor belt onto the yellow platform and then get up onto the main blue one. The problem is this is way easier when there aren't a million people around you. So if you're in the front, go for it. If you're not, you might want to take it a little bit slower. Don't grab the edge. You can actually grab the corner and then pull yourself up, but it's way slower than just jumping. Always try to go up the middle because you're not scared. You're a strong, brave boy or girl. I would highly recommend doing it because even if you get knocked off on the right side, usually you'll land on the platform. Not always, but you should be okay. Very few people go up the middle, but you're really not going to risk that much by going for it. If you lose a game because of it, feel free to dislike this video. I don't care. I got you to watch anyway. Thanks for the revenue, loser. And that's every game. I think. I don't know. Fall Guys has a wiki, and it was missing a lot of games on there. So maybe there's some I missed. Maybe there's some I've never played that are exceptionally rare. I don't know. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments, and I will definitely, for sure, absolutely make a follow-up video. But if not, I hope these tips have enlightened you and taken you one step closer to grabbing the crown and being the number two Fall Guy on the server. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!